Around 800 C, gunpowder was invented by the Chinese, who quickly adapted it for military use. The earliest confirmed reference dates back to the 9th century AD during the Tang Dynasty. The first documented formula appeared in 808 AD in the Taishang Shengzhou Jinan Mijue. Fifty years later, another mention of an explosive substance was recorded in the Taoist text Xinyun Miao Yala. This text described a hazardous experiment involving sulfur, realgar, and saltpeter mixed with honey. The reaction produced smoke and flames, leading to severe burns and even the destruction of entire houses during the process. Gunpowder, which stands as one of the most groundbreaking inventions in human history. It revolutionized warfare, mining, and even construction. Its discovery marked a turning point in technological advancements, paving the way for firearms, artillery, and countless other innovations. In this video, we're going to talk about what is this gunpowder and how is it made. Let's talk firstly about what this gunpowder is. Gunpowder, also known as black powder, is the earliest known chemical explosive, but it is considered as a low explosive because of its relatively slow decomposition rate, low ignition temperature, and its ability to shatter or break materials. Unlike high explosives, which detonate and generate a supersonic shockwave, low explosives deflagrate burning at subsonic speeds. When ignited behind a projectile, gunpowder creates sufficient pressure to propel the shot from the muzzle at high velocity without typically rupturing the gun barrel. This makes it an effective propellant, but less suitable for tasks requiring high-impact explosive power, such as shattering rocks or fortifications. Despite its lower yield, gunpowder remained a common choice for filling fused artillery shells and was extensively used in mining and civil engineering until the second half of the 19th century, when high explosives became widely adopted. Let's go briefly into how it was discovered. The origins of gunpowder can be traced back to ancient China during the Tang Dynasty in the 9th century. Alchemists searching for an elixir of life accidentally stumbled upon this explosive mixture. Initially used for fireworks and simple weapons like bombs and rockets, gunpowder gradually spread along the Silk Road to the Middle East and Europe. By the late 14th century, gunpowder became a game-changer in warfare, leading to the development of cannons and firearms. How is gunpowder made? Gunpowder is actually pretty easy to make. Even you can make it, but I won't advise you to do so if you don't want your brains blown out. To understand how gunpowder is produced, let's break down the process. The first ingredient needed is the saltpeter. A saltpeter is used, it is commonly known as potassium nitrate. During the era when black powder was widely used, saltpeter was often sourced from bat guano or produced from horse urine and other nitrate-rich soils. Today, it is commonly found in fertilizers, science experiments, and even certain recipes. Number two is charcoal. This is very common. Everyone has even seen it in one place or the other. It is created by burning wood in a low oxygen environment to produce a lightweight, porous fuel. You can use regular charcoal purchased for grilling, but you'll need to grind it into a fine powder. For those seeking a more authentic approach, you can make your own charcoal. Simply fill a metal drum with three inch pieces of willow or another type of wood. Then place the drum in a bonfire with a loosely fitted lid to allow airflow. Keep the fire blazing for four to six hours. Once cooled, open the drum to reveal perfectly charred wood, ideal for gunpowder production. And lastly is sulfur. It is extracted from volcanic regions or obtained through chemical processes. So it won't be easy getting naturally, but can be bought. It is commonly used to acidify soil, making it available at garden centers or through online garden supply retailers. Elemental sulfur is found naturally and is mined from deposits in Texas, Louisiana, Italy, and various other locations worldwide. Now let's get into how you can mix the ingredients. You don't want to be starting the next cornabill explosion. Traditional recipes use approximately 75% saltpeter, 15% charcoal, and 10% sulfur by weight. Achieving this precise ratio is essential for creating effective gunpowder. The ingredients are finely ground and mixed thoroughly to ensure even distribution. This can be done through dry mixing, that's by blending powders carefully without introducing moisture, or 
What mixing has to do with dampening the mixture with water or alcohol to prevent accidental ignition during processing. After mixing, the compound is dried and granulated to form uniform particles that burn consistently. The granulation is very important for producing gunpowder, so it burns evenly. The grains, usually one to three millimeters in size, are passed through screens for uniformity. These granules are often moistened and pressed into cakes to enhance stability and performance. Proper storage is also very important since gunpowder is sensitive to heat, sparks, and friction. Historically, it was kept in wooden barrels or metal containers stored in secure magazines to reduce explosion risks. You can't talk about making gunpowder and not include how it is stored. That's catastrophic store black powder in a container specifically designed for gunpowder. It's best to keep it in a fireproof box located in a shed or a secure area outside your home. Ensure the storage location is stable, away from flames, and not exposed to high temperatures. Powder containers are available at hardware stores or online. Some people suggest using and used paint cans for storage. Keep in mind that storing explosive materials in a residence may be illegal in certain regions. If you're uncertain about proper storage guidelines, consult your local field office of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, ATF, or the equivalent authority in your country for advice. Gunpowder forever transformed society. In warfare, it rendered a traditional fortifications and armored knights obsolete, ushering in the age of firearms and cannons. Beyond the battlefield, gunpowder played a vital role in mining, construction, and entertainment, particularly in fireworks. As we reflect on the history of gunpowder, we see how this simple blend of ingredients revolutionized human civilization, intertwining chemistry, history, and technology. Do you think gunpowder is historical? Let us know in the comment section. Thank you for joining us on this explosive journey through history. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more fascinating stories behind the simplest things. We got other interesting videos for you. Pick the left or right and enjoy.